Born in 1944, acclaimed educator, playwright, and poet, Telsey and Turner Rowe grew up in the heart of the city like many Bahamians. My mom was the little girl from Babylon, from off Market Street, who grew up poor, whose mother had died um, um, very early on by the time I think my mom was three years old. Her only child, Arian, the product of a marriage to artist James O. Rowe, says, though, that her circumstances did not define her destiny. Passionate about her education and with the support of her grandmother and other community leaders, Turner Roll rose above her environment to become an educator herself. And ultimately ended up uh, at the College of the Bahamas in terms of her main professional working life. Uh, working as a lecturer at the College of the Bahamas and serving uh, during a period as chairperson of the college's humanities division. Turner Roll would go on to join the annals of literary history by having her Bahamian-themed poetry and plays published locally and internationally by publishing giants including Oxford University Press and Macmillan. Her most prominent works that would over time be studied by legions of students, the poetry of Song of the Surreys and the play Woman Take Two. It explores a, a number of social themes in terms of the Bahamian class structure, uh, how Bahamians look at one another, and how, and, it, and also very, very much from an early stage, explored the issue of immigration in the Bahamas. A banker by profession, Arian is also a writer, artist, and musician. He says beyond his mother's creative works, it is the individual lives she touched that speak most to her lasting contribution. I think even if she wasn't a creative person, she would have had that effect anyway because she was always selfless in terms of how she approached people and always respectful of people no matter what their station, their background was in life. The literary legacy of Telsey and Turner Roll lives on for all eternity. Her books are still available at local bookstores. Reporting for ZNS News, I'm Giovanni Stewart.